are Dragon Quest villains boring? This is something I'm sure a lot of people have thought about, but not many have wanted to address. Throughout the Dragon Quest series, we always have a villain. Every game has one big main villain who controls all the monsters in the world and is overall behind everything. Typically, it's some kind of horny guy who is just evil for literally no reason, and he lives in a castle and has a second form after you beat him, and they're kind of all like that. Now, this was a unique type of villain back when they introduced the Dragon Lord in the first game, especially since this was the first villain in gaming history who had a second form like this, and every single JRPG out there ended up copying this trope afterwards. But after 11 games, and them giving us basically the same villain over and over and over again, it does get a little boring if you think about it. I mean, the villains of the first three Dragon Quest games, the Dragon Lord, Hargon, and Zoma, almost look like the exact same guy, and wait, is this dude seriously wearing sandals? Anyway, it's not just the designs either, it's their motivations too. Most villains in the series could honestly be interchanged with each other, and practically nothing in the story would be different at all. Dragon Quest villains are usually evil for literally no reason. I mean, think about it. They are evil for the sake of being evil, and they just want to take over the world just because. This is basically every Dragon Quest villain's motivation. I do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. To drive into a car. Well, did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do horror stuff with my friend. The only Dragon Quest villains whose personality doesn't boil down to I'm evil because I want to be are Sorrow from Dragon Quest IV and Corvus from Dragon Quest IX, who I think are actually the two best villains in the entire series. They were a huge step forward for the franchise. They were both wronged by humanity and have some sort of understandable backstory and motivation that lets players at least understand them a little bit better. With DQ4, they not only wrote one of the best villains, but Sorrow's design is one of the best Dragon Quest villain designs. He does not look like your typical villain. He has this very human looking form, and he even gets a redemption arc added to the remake of Dragon Quest IV, which is honestly one of the best additions to the game story. These are honestly the kind of villains that Dragon Quest should be putting out, and I had hoped the series would go in more of a direction like this, with less black and white, just purely evil villains, and something a bit more interesting and thought-provoking like Sorrow. In DQ9, Corvus was an angel who used to be good, but was eventually betrayed and imprisoned by the very humans he once protected, which caused him to become a fallen angel. In this regard, he's a tragic villain, and I really can't blame him for becoming evil considering everything he had to go through. So needless to say, I had high expectations after Corvus. The next Dragon Quest game we got was Dragon Quest XI, and throughout this adventure, the player's party is constantly hyping up a mysterious villain named Mordigan. For half the game, you don't even know what he looks like or what his motivations are, but then they finally reveal him and all I could think was, yeah, of course he looks like that. Another evil guy with horns, great. And his motivation wasn't great either. He was also basically just evil for no reason. They had such a good villain in DQ9 and they went right back to the basics for XI. Mordigan is possibly one of the worst villains in the entire Dragon Quest series. I was so disappointed the moment I saw him. He's terrible. It's like they had an AI make the most generic RPG villain ever. He's just awful. They could have done so much more, but they gave us this guy. I swear, if Dragon Quest XII's villain is just another evil wizard with devil horns, I'm going to be so pissed. I am just hoping they do something interesting with Dragon Quest XII's villain so that players are actually surprised for once. Time will only tell. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think? Are Dragon Quest villains boring? Or maybe you like them the way they are? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.